इज योर होस्ट श्रीम बिन मोहम्मद रफी एंड हेयर इज माई यूट्यूब चैनल जमीर यूनिवर्सल इन द डेकेट इन विच वी आर एंड वी आर सीन दीम क्रुअलिटी स्टारवेशन कल्चर रिलीजन एंड इन थ्री used to suppress other nations not only 100 years ago when we heard about colonization or keeping and buying people for slavery and using them in your tobacco and cotton fields now you have another form of slavery another form of suppressing people and the typical example at the moment which is now concern for the whole world is the extreme cruelty or the birth of another adolf filter and his father who is the cruelest the dirtiest the filthiest person and he is contesting the american elections joe biden his son proven to be the most corrupt person on earth under investigation and what he did with the russian firms and the money he obtained from them is already known and it is amazing his wife who is a phd and he is a teacher teaches in two schools and he is now eating his breakfast the starved children of gaza at lunch the starved women and elderly and injured and his dinner again the dying one by one over that in the hospitals and now look at the intrigue and the greed and hunger of this man that he joins hands with the most cruel person on earth natanyahu and on this two faced beast he kept natanyahu alive and he has spitted on his face and kicked his ass many times but he keeps on calling him and the reason he keeps on calling him and he is licking his feet and he is getting all his kicks on his back is because his eyes are on all the gas and oil reserves of the coast of gaza all people must be wondering why this small step is so important knowing fully well that they will never ever no one on earth has ever been able to defeat an ideology and even their own people even their own newspaper the best newspaper they have in the zionist state hurts and the other newspaper now the jerusalem post has clearly indicated that you can never ever defeat hamas sir how on earth when in 1949 you could not this was the only strip of palestine you could not ever occupy and oh, cleverly cunningly what you did was that you took them under siege with all your power and with the intrigue of the united states and with the dirty and filthy and the lies and the promises been made to the arab and the whole world that he is and for that he has been buying time now look at is the dirtiest and filthiest move that on the pretext again a wolf in the you know a sheep skin is trying to pretend that he has some sympathy for those gaza traps if he had there would have been a cease fire 5 months ago he doesn't he wants to now have a fleet with hundreds and thousands of the boats of american soldiers so that he can just go and create a two days journey from cyprus to the gaza coastline so that he can then now keep his then bring ships and mark the gas and the oil reserves in that strip and then ultimately he along with natanyahu before they die they have a real estate to sell gaza as a property dealer and then he become an oil tycoon just like some other presidents who have their money invested in either the war the equipment and the bombs or in the oil so he will just be doing this and look at the he is cheating and he is deceiving not only the united nations the europeans the nato and everybody in the world and it's a foolish i think the european union and the foolish is this you know 
मुस्लिम टर्किश प्रेसिडेंट हु आई थिंक इज द मोस्ट अदर हेटेड पर्सन एट द मोमेंट इन द मुस्लिम वर्ल्ड हु कैप्ट ऑन लाइंग टू द मुस्लिम आई विल प्रोटेक्ट अलस का मॉस डैम यू वाई डोंट यू जस्ट गो नाउ सी दैट हाउ दे हैव एन क्लोज इट टू दात वायर एंड इवन द मुस्लिम लिविंग देयर कैन नॉट एंटर एंड से देर द रावल प्रेयर और अदर प्रेयर्स आई थिंक द टर्किश रेवोल्यूशन आई विश अ गॉड हैड सक्सीडेड एंड दे हैड रिमूव्ड यू ह्यूमिलिएटेड यू एंड थ्रोन यू आउट ऑफ टर्की हाउ कुड यू बी द लीडर ऑफ द मुस्लिम वर्ल्ड वेन यू हाउ कैन यू फास्ट हाउ कैन योर वाइफ हैव ए हिजाब एंड फास्ट वेन यू नो वेन यू सी मिलियंस ऑफ पीपल स्टारविंग सी दिड्स ईटिंग द रॉटन पोटेटोज पिकिंग अप फ्रॉम द रोड साइड and now dying of starvation and nothing you see is the in the chest case is bones bones and bones sunken eyes and bones i don't think any any muslim in the world now at the moment that it be pakistani chief of army or that that be pakistani government that that be mohammed bin suleiman of saudi arabia or uae no so, qatar anybody i think now is they have lost their faith they are no more muslims i am not a, a alam that go and give fatwas but i think um what do you make of this latest move this seaport i feel it's a rather pathetic addition to the existing pathetic policy of the administration because why are we talking about a seaport uh we saw these air drops really a drop in the ocean sometimes literally in terms of what is needed given the scale of of Uh, suffering starvation destruction that has been wrought by the israeli military assault on gaza but the talk of this seaport is first of all because israel is not allowing the necessary humanitarian aid in through the existing border crossings but the reason you need that aid to come in whether it's through border crossings or through seaports that will have to be constructed have to be defended in an active war zone is because the destruction continues despite the overwhelming does doesn't even get close evidence of the extent to which israel has not taken palestinian civilian life seriously 90% displaced most of the housing stock destroyed all the infrastructure destroyed 30000 people plus 12000 children no shelter terrible humanitarian conditions and all of this is made possible and this is the incredible disconnect all of this is made possible by american weaponry universal television ko subscribe karna na bhule uske baad bell button pe click kare aur apne comments ke section mein apne kimti jo khayalat ka izhar zarur